So recently someone asked me on Instagram how to model this in Revit. So I thought about doing a quick video tutorial so that it would be helpful to you guys as well if you also want to know how to create this kind of pattern in Revit. So let's get started. So before you get started I would like to tell you that in this quick video I'm only going to explain to you how you can create this kind of pattern on a wall. I already have a detailed video uploaded on my channel about uh, creating uh, this kind of arch uh, designs in Revit you can check that out if you are interested anyway let's create this so here first I will just quickly create an arch let's create a wall here and to create the arch I'm just going to uh, edit profile and go to front view and let's quickly draw an arch here Let's mirror it to the other side and delete these lines and I'm just going to create an arc here and I'll just move it here. Let's use split SL and split this line and use TR and just trim this. So this arch is now ready. We can just click finish and there you go. Now we are going to use in place mask to create the pattern here. So let's go to massing inside here and first click show mass and then click in place mass you can name it if you want i will just click ok and here you guys know that if you create a pattern on a flat surface in revit we will not be able to get angled pattern lines following this arch so in order to get the pattern following this arch uh, we are going to use a trick the trick is that we are going to create the flat surface on two different work planes you will understand in a moment what i'm trying to say so let's go to level one and create a reference plane here we'll just create a reference plane from this wall uh, from the face of the wall on which i want to create the pattern and let's give it a name i'll we'll just call it b now we can just uh, copy this so co copy and we'll just copy this at a very small distance maybe 0 0.001 inch enter you think nothing is changed here seems like we only have a single uh, reference plane here but if i zoom in you see we got these two reference planes and we are going to use these two reference planes to create the flat surface and that's the trick which i was talking about so anyway before creating the surface we want to change the name of this work plane because this one is b you can see that here and this one let's name it a so it will be easy for us to create the pattern in the elevation views so let's go to the south elevation here and create the surface but before uh, doing that we first need to set the work plane so let's click here set work plane i am going to select this reference plane a click ok and we can just draw an arc here like so now to create the another arc here i'm going to change the work plane for that let's click here set work plane and this time we will select reference plane b let's click ok and we can use pick lines and give an offset here 10 feet and select this arc and now let's go back to 3d and if i change the visual style to hidden line we'll be able to see this arc as well now let's select both of these and click create form here okay it's we are getting some error unable to create form element so maybe uh, sometimes we get this error due to the uh, this uh, reference lines if this one is way too close to the other one i will not be uh, able to create form so let's move it a little bit and try to create a form again okay we are still getting this error so i think there's a problem with the placement of these lines so let's select this one and the host should be reference plane b for this one and this one should be reference plane a it's already uh, on the reference plane a so now let's try that again 
Okay, maybe we need to move this a little bit more. Now let's select, uh, let's try that again. There you go. Now it's working fine. So if you also uh, came across this error, you just need to either uh, move this work plane a little bit, just create a small gap between these two, or just make sure you have these lines on the correct uh, reference planes here anyway let's create the form again and now i'm going to uh, divide this surface to add the pattern based families so let's select all here and then click divide surface there you go now we got this uh, pattern following uh, this arch and of course you can play around with the settings here as well Either you can go for fixed distance or fixed number. I'm just going to go uh, with fixed number for now. And let's put 10 here. And we want to increase this uh, grid uh, size here. So for that, we need to increase the numbers here. So let's try 15. And uh, we are getting this kind of pattern here. Let's reduce this one. Okay, so it's looking something like this now we can just replace this pattern with a, a pattern based curtain panel family if you want to know how to create a custom uh, pattern based curtain panel family you can check out my other uh, video in which i explained uh, how you can create custom uh, pattern based families i will put the link in the description anyway uh, first let's load a pattern based family i'm going to load the same which i created in my uh, other video so let's click load family here here I have this curtain panel family I'm going to load this in and to replace that we just need to select this pattern uh, make sure you have selected the pattern not this line so just select the pattern and from this drop down we can select the family which we have just loaded there you go we have created this a cool looking pattern on this wall of course to change the material you can just select that and go to the properties and here you find the curtain panel pattern material parameter so that's how simple it is to create such patterns in Revit if you want to learn more about classical architectural modeling in Revit you can check out the tutorials playlist on my channel I already have uploaded 15 plus videos on classical architectural modeling in Revit. The link will be in the description. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.